Hey folks, Rich with us. Datacom Crushets New Zealand with a quick guide here to show you a GitHub resource that I've discovered with the help of Brian Dan. Thanks, Brian. Um, that gives you an unsupported method to change the theming within your Power Apps, including date picker controls. Date picker controls have been the hardest thing for me to figure out how to change um, the pop up screen um, elements. Um, but this guide, this actually, this resource does give you the ability to to make those changes so there's not much documentation with this but I th so thought I'd step through the process of doing it um, so this might be of use to others out there if you want to head down uh, an unsupported does work um, method so there's first of all go to github Microsoft and power apps hyphen tools and there's a few different tools in here there's a, a cool tool to allow you to review what's happening in your apps uh, now what we're going to do is focus on the theme editor app uh, which is going to present a screen such as this um, which you can then use to refactor and you'll as I click through it you'll see the different controls we can change so you just click download um, let's do that just for fun it'll be a zip file you can see I've already taken one and then once you've downloaded it, extract it um, and I've just extracted it into my downloads folder so that's the original one, and that's this guy. Open that, and there's an application file in here which you want to run. Okay, so run that. All right, there we go. You're running an executable with a Power Apps um, sort of mock up of how things work. You can't click on the date control here to make it work, but you can do um, various other elements to see what they would look like um, for different bits. So it gives you the option to look at it in a tablet layout and a phone. And on the right hand side there's all the various controls um, that exist within a power app. And on the left hand side there are all the theme um, elements. So these are all normally held in a JSON file inside um, the app packages that, or that you, you create. Um, and you can't normally get in and play with them. So this is quite cool um, that we can. Um, but obviously uh, totally unsupported. So do it at your own risk. I haven't seen a problem with it yet, but just so you know, um, yeah, if your app breaks and you've done this, then you might not get any support from Microsoft. So, yeah, full disclosure. Um, so let's click on the date picker control, and then you see on the right-hand side here we get the other elements of the date picker. Now these top ones are the ones you can normally control with your app, right? So you can go in and change um, you know, the border, the fill, the color, the text. It's the pop-up piece of the date controls that you can't change. And these are the ones down here. So you can see here, they're controlled by primary color one. Oops. And I can change that by doing that, if I, do, I didn't click it too quickly. Um, the hover date fill and then the calendar header fill, they're all controlled by those three primary color settings. Um, and if we change those to, to be a different one, see nothing's changed there yet because we're clicking the wrong piece, but let's just make that one red, just for fun. Um, blue. If I wanted to, um, what I could do is go over to primary color one using this um, tool and um, make a change anyway, right? So I could go in and, and make make that my primary color one and that will update. See, my whole app's changed and that's where I can see that's, that's that elements could changed. So if I change the selected date fill, we'll go back to, to primary color one on that one. found it. Cool. So then you've made changes to what you want to have for your app. So what do you do now, right? Um, so this preview mode here isn't necessarily what you're going to see in your app. You're not going to get these controls in it. You have to create the app and then add these controls in based on your file. And so the tools up here that what you want to use, you want to go file and save. This will prompt you to create a new MS app file. Um, and it'll be called blank power apps. So let's go um, lime green. This will be saved to your local computer, downloads, or wherever you choose to do it from. So that's saved. So that, then, what can I do with that? So what I want to do is go to go to power apps. So let's bring up power apps, and I want to create an app. Okay. 
and because the files exist in my computer rather than in the cloud at this point in time, the one I just created, I'm going to want to go open when I hit this screen and I'm going to want to browse to browse to it. It's in my downloads folder and there's the one called Lime Green Parrot. As it loads up, it'll be blank, but that's okay. Yep, we don't need to do the tour. Um, and what you'll see here is the, th the theme that you've created with your control now exists um, in your app. And if I preview that, you can see the colors that I selected are starting to show up um, across the app. So you could use this um, solution. Um, so there's a button, which is the green button that we had. Um, that, oh, I didn't want to add a second button. Let's add something else, a drop down. And then there we go. We start to see the colors coming through from the app. So you could use this control combined with some of the other techniques um, to set the various themes of your apps. Um, but this is a simple one to, to, to change everything universally. You don't need to go back in and change um, every layout, um, every control you've added and point it to a master um, element in your app that, that matches the colors you want. This actually is changing the, the primary theme colors, which is great. Um, there's a lot less rework, but you might want to change a logo, which you could use with a component. You might want to change a background, um, which you could use with a, a data source. Um, those are the sort of elements that you were, may still want to add into app. But I just wanted to show um, this tool. So go back up to um, the location of the tool, GitHub, Microsoft Power Apps Tools. Potentially a good resource for you to work with um, as needed. Thanks. Hope this helps you out.